you can never mobile turns really action amidst the thick shrublands of central africa sleeps a ginormous monster a male godzilla though a giant he still sleeps like a baby let's take a peek into his typical day yoga Before more activity, he must fuel himself up adequately. As the days get warmer, he moves to drier lands to hone his battle skills. Getting around the world quickly is not always simple for a creature that weighs 160,000 tons. So he must get creative. As the sun moves westward, Godzilla slows down to more enjoyable activities. He does like to have a bit of fun. It has been a long, tiring day. But then, you can never be over prepared. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making this and I'm gonna briefly go over the steps involved in the making of this video. But first, I wanna thank Summoner's War for sponsoring this video. Summoner's War is the classic mobile turn-based role-playing game which has over a thousand unique monsters. The game has a huge community worldwide and has over 110 million installs. Players can try out various team compositions and strengthen their monsters with runes to progress in the game. They're celebrating their 6th anniversary by giving away 100 free summons. So scroll down to the video description and download the game and give it a go. The game is really action packed so you're gonna have fun. My first lightning was Sniper. Who will you summon? Alright, back to the making of this video. The first step was to sculpt Godzilla and paint the texture maps. I did this all in Blender. Then I 3D track my shot and animate Godzilla and make him do all the funny stuff. And then comes the compositing in After Effects. This is where I start putting all the layers back together. I used Red Giant Super Comp to add in subtle things like fog and light wrap which really helps make the CG look photoreal. I also used an amazing VFX asset from Production Crate to create this groundbreaking shot. The next step is editing, where I assemble all my shots and color grade them. Then I add in the sound effects and soundtracks. Huge thanks to my friend Charlie Hopkinson for doing the amazing voiceover. He does a bunch of incredible impressions. You should definitely check out his channel. Alright guys, I hope that was interesting. Please leave a like and let me know if you have a cool idea for my...